Hello friends, this is Adiraj and today we are going to learn how to use the Spreecommerce social products extension developed by Pencil. Social media marketing has grown to become a very important component of the marketing strategy of every product. According to neilpatel.com, social media marketing is defined as the process of creating content that you have tailored to the context of each individual social media platform in order to drive user engagement and sharing. Do you want to integrate social media to your Spreecommerce store? Our Spreecommerce social products extension is just a thing waiting for you. Social products extension will let you add different social media buttons under your products so that your customers can share the product they like directly from its page on your store. This will in turn help you generate more traffic to your store. Here we have the GitHub page for Spree social products extension which you can access by clicking the link available on our YouTube page below this video. Here you will find all of the information regarding our extension. There's also a Heroku one-click deploy button that you can use to play around with the extension. For the purpose of this tutorial, I've already deployed the extension on Heroku and logged in with the admin credentials. Here we have the admin backend in front of us. You can access the admin backend by appending admin slash orders to the address of your free commerce store. In this tutorial, I would like to show you two things. One, how to enable different social media share buttons and two, how to configure settings for Facebook. Now let's go over to the configuration section and the social sharing settings subsection within it. Here on the left hand side under the service settings header you can select which social media you want to enable buttons for. For the purpose of this tutorial I have enabled all the social media sharing buttons. Now let's go over to the front end store. Here on the front end store we are currently logged in as admin. Now let's see how and where these buttons would appear on the store. We click on Ruby on Rails bag. Here on the Ruby on Rails bag product page, after scrolling down on the left hand side, you find a bookmark or share this section where you find the buttons for all the social media. Now let's click on tweet. Let's go ahead and tweet this. And it works. Now let's look at the second part of the tutorial that is how to configure Facebook settings. In order to configure Facebook settings, we need to have an app created at developers.facebook.com and you need an app ID for it. We copy the app ID, go to the admin backend in social sharing settings section and put our Facebook app ID here. We configure the button type, verb to display and color scheme and click on update. Now let's configure Facebook in a different way from what it was before. I've chosen recommend in the verb to display field and now I'm going to click on update. And we have successfully updated our social sharing settings and the Facebook settings in particular. Now let's go to the front end store. Here on the front end store, let's go ahead and refresh the page. As you can see, the like button has been replaced with the recommend button. Now all of this information is available on the GitHub page for Spree Social Products extension. You can also look at some more extensions developed for Spreecommerce at spreecommerce-extensions.com. You can also post your issues on the Spreecommerce Slack, marking me at the rate Adhiraj. That is A-D-H-I-R-A-J. Thanks for watching guys. Have a nice day.